My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sale shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. What's going on guys, it's Caleb. Today we're looking at one of my favorite modern muscle cars. This is a 2006 Pontiac GTO. Uh, I had one just like this, that's why I'm in love with it. Uh, but anyway, this has 18,000 500 original miles on it. Uh, this is finished in the impulse blue color. It's hard to find, honestly, this color is a little bit more rare. Uh, it's finished with the six, six liter LS2 V8 uh, with a six speed manual transmission. This thing is packing tons of horsepower, almost 500 to the wheels. Uh, it's right at like 465 uh, on the dyno. We do have the dyno sheet for it. Uh, it's not stock. It does have a list of modifications that we'll go through, uh, but all a bunch of excellent parts. Uh, you guys are gonna absolutely love this car. I know I do. Anyway, if you enjoyed our videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you click on the bell icon, you'll get notif notified every time a new one gets posted. Uh, for the full write-up description and photo shoot, you can visit volocars.com. Uh, there you'll not only see this beast of a machine, uh, but we have a couple hundred, both modern muscle and classic cars. They're all for sale. Make sure you check it out, volocars.com. But let's take a look at this Pontiac GTO. So I acquired this from the second owner of the car. Uh, this car was optioned with some SAP. If you don't know what that is, that's the sport appearance package options on it. Uh, when we come back around to the front, I'll show you the front grille nostrils. Uh, but it does have the rear SAP spoiler and bumper on it. Um, you had to order those from factory. They were discontinued fairly uh, quickly going into the production of these cars, so it's kind of hard to find on it. Um, this is finished in the Impulse Blue. This paint is gorgeous. I absolutely love this color. Uh, the paint's in excellent shape. There is one little rock chip or uh, scratch down here on the rear wheel well. Uh, the rear wheel wells were pulled a little bit to fit that bigger tire. Uh, speaking of the tires, it does have the stock wheels with some uh, like new, the, the owner we acquired this from put some uh, Nitto NT triple five R high performance tires. That way you can grip all the horsepower that's in this thing. Uh, coming around on this side, all the paint here is in excellent shape. Again, there's one tiny little rock chip again on this side. Other than that, it's in really great shape. Uh, absolutely love this car. All the wheels, these are finished in the 17 inch uh, silver painted aluminum. The wheels are in great shape. There's no paint flake. There's no curb rash that I noticed. Part of the SAP appearance package was this banner. This did come on here from the factory. Uh, I think it's a nice touch, but if you don't like it, you can definitely remove it. The headlights are in crystal clear, great shape. There's no cracks or hazing or anything like that. These inserted grill speaker uh, vents. That's part of the sport appearance package. Uh, on the 0506 GTOs, they did get the nostril grilled hood versus the 04s, which just had a flat hood. Definitely adds some character and meanness to this. Uh, the fog light covers, those are the lenses are in great shape. They have some nice bright white fog letters, uh, lights in them. I love the GTO badging on it. Now, a lot of people don't know that G the Pontiac brought back the GTO in the early 2000s. So it's kind of funny, people come up, they're like, oh, I didn't know they made a GTO. But you got those badges right there. It says GTO 6.0 liter on it. Uh, underneath the car, we'll talk about some of the modifications. So this thing is track ready. Uh, it's not a full drag car. It is very streetable, uh, but it's kind of mixed with parts for best of the both. Uh, it features dual rear adjustable airbags on the go. There's actually a built-in air system in the trunk here. Uh, with the flip of the switch on the dash, you can pump up the drag bags, make them stiff. You can release the air from them, make them a little softer. That's gonna help you with that wheel hop on it. It does have a one-piece aluminum uh, DSS drive shaft in it. Uh, just a solid one piece, gives it a lot more stability, a lot more uh, durability too when, when doing a burnout in this car. Uh, it's rear geared 
the uh, rear ratioed, re-geared for a 393 uh, Australian rear end. Uh, the front has had the lateral links uh, built and that was an issue with them. Uh, radius rods would get weakened on this. This does have the stiffened upgraded ones on it. It did recently get a four wheel alignment on it. Uh, so this thing's ready to go. It runs and drives excellent. Uh, doesn't matter what speed you're going. But let's take a look at the interior. All right guys, coming into the interior, uh, it's finished in the black leather uh, interior trim. Inside, it's nice and new. Again, only 18,500 minimal miles on it. Uh, the seats are in excellent condition. They're still soft and cushiony. There's no tears or anything like that on the seats. Features the sport bucket seats. These are super comfortable. This car is very comfortable to just cruise, uh, even if you're not uh, using it as a daily driver. Come over to the dash. It does have a driver assistance program on it. It'll actually tell you when you've been driving it for a long time and, and warn you to take a break because uh, it knows you're having so much fun in it. Uh, customized on this side, it does have some toggle switches there. Uh, those are for the rear <clears throat> drag bags in the car. Uh, one of them turns on the air pump. It'll pump up air. The, the pump is actually built in, wired in electronically, so it fills itself up with air, uh, and then it'll release it into the drag bags. You can raise and lower it with three different settings on there. Um, you do push the button on the, on the shift knob to engage the, the drag bag air, so it'll pump it up into the, uh, the air pump, and then you release it into the drag bags from here. Uh, it has a nice Hurst shift knob on that six speed. Uh, there's also an air pressure gauge up here hooked up to the compressor in the back so you know how much air is in it. Uh, you also have an oil pressure gauge which is nice. Uh, this has the premium stereo in it, six speed or six disc CD changer, AM FM radio, uh, full equalizer. It has a really killer stereo system. Love the GTO badging in here. They keep it simple and modern but it's nice. Uh, the, the headliner is sagging in a couple spots right here. It's very very minor. Um, we'll see what we can do to get that fixed. The rear seats are in excellent shape. Uh, no one's ever sat back there. There's no wear or tear. Now let's switch over to the trunk. So the trunk you can pop by a, by a latch inside or a button. Uh, you do have a pop on the key fob. So if you didn't know, behind this is where they put the gas tank on these cars. Uh, down here, uh, what I'm showing you is that nice wired in air pump system. Uh, it even has an air nozzle hooked up and you can fill up your tires. Turn the air pump on, builds up pressure into the tank, and then you can uh, release it into the drag bags. So everything's mounted nice and neat in here. All the the wiring is mounted nicely. Um, everything's bolted in. It's not going to toss around or anything like that. Now my favorite part, the engine bay. So I do have a little cheat sheet uh, list of parts on, on what's done on here. So we started with, it does have the stock short block in it, 6 liter. Uh, it has some Patriot uh, Stage 3 243 casting heads, on, aluminum heads on it. See if I can find this good latch. There we go. Uh, the struts keep it up nice. Engine bay is nice and clean. As you can tell, it's definitely not stock. Let me grab this sheet here. We'll go over the parts. Uh, it does have a fast 102 millimeter intake on it. Still has the stock throttle body. I believe that's a 92 millimeter. Uh, we got a K&N cold air intake. You have the fast fuel um, rail, fuel rails on it. Stock injectors still, uh, it was enough to handle the power on it. Uh, this also has pace setter, long tube ceramic coated headers into a custom X pipe. Uh, the chrome dual tips in the back, those are the stock ones, but this whole exhaust is catless, guys, uh, so it's not stock anymore. Uh, MSD spark plug coil packs and uh, coil wires on it. This thing's just ready to rip. Um, it has a very large comp cam 
595 degree intake, 598 exhaust. Uh, it has a bigger SP high flow oil pump, SP double rolling timer chain, timing chain on it, uh, spec three racing clutch, lightweight flywheel. Uh, let's see what else does it have. B&M short throw shifter. Um, the, the valves are a solid one piece with du -coil, dual coiled valve springs on it. Um, and this thing, like I said, it's just ready to rip. Uh, very reliable. This is a very solid build on here. Just the heads by himself. Um, so you won't have any issues with it. All right, guys, that was my impression on our 2006 Pontiac GTO. Uh, if you are interested in purchasing this bad boy, you can visit our website, volocars.com. Uh, from there, if you go to the GTO's page, you can click the Buy It Now button, uh, secure a deposit on this car. It is refundable. Uh, it will email us. We can email you back. I can help set up financing and shipping if need be. Uh, I can get this thing shipped right to your driveway. It's super easy. You can visit volocars.com or give me a call. Ask for me, Caleb. I'd be more than happy to talk over the car with you some more uh, and set up financing and shipping if need be that way. But thanks for tuning in.